Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We are sat on our Swiss map in Italy. Yeah, the only part of the map which is in Italy and that is Doma de Sala. And it is uh, right down south, obviously, <laughs> with Switzerland to the north of us there, through the mountains. And uh, the route here, although we're not doing it today, we've done a lot of expanding over the last uh, few episodes. And so today we're going to sit back, see if anything unlocks, let time go by. Hopefully, big hopefully, that uh, some trucks unlock for us. That's why we're sat here looking at our ever-increasing supply of goods to our trucks there. Our, well, I mean, they've only been going a, a few months or a month, perhaps. It's not long at all. However long it took us for our little ride at the end of the last episode. Yeah, so today a few more trains are going to get named. Uh, thank you again for the comments in the previous videos. I got an honourable mention first, and that's by Ted Knott. Sir Henry Bessemer. Oh, did I pronounce his name right? Bessemer? Bessemer. Bessemer. <laughs> anyway, he was the, uh, the inventor and engineer who developed the first process for manufacturing steel inexpensively. And he had the idea that that was going to go on a steel train. However... I have to say, it's not quite in line with the rest of our trains being named after artists of various types, musicians, actors, and uh, perhaps a book today as well. Perhaps in the next series, what we'll do is we'll go for industry-related uh, or train-related people, famous uh, for their achievements in, in the rail industry or the uh, industries surrounding or that rely on trains and vice versa. So that's something for the future. Anyway, should we bring up the UI? We've got a bit of tidying up to do. Actually, let's name the trains first. Let's quickly sit down here and watch the train go by. And uh, we're going to call this one Dolly. I thought that was rather a rather clever use of our uh, our naming our naming schemes. There we go going off that way look at that mountain railway it's amazing how that how high that gets up to be honest i'm pretty impressed with myself we're calling this dolly because dolly parton and uh, machine parts i mean i get it it's close right it's close it's close i like it i just like it for being uh, out the box a little bit so there we go dolly dolly parton machine parts <laughs> oh, that amused me. And what a lovely train it is for her too. Over there. Oh, look at all the trains are here. One of them might be the passenger train. In which case, oh, we're going to call this one Raymond. Yeah, after the uh, author of The Snowman. Book or film? Oh, was he? <laughs> which one was it? It was the book, right? Oh, it's the book. Yes, yes. He did. He says it in the comment. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know who created the film, but I do remember watching it growing up. Another good suggestion. We're going to go over here. Steel train. Uh, doesn't have a name either. Is that the steel train? I believe it is. Right. If we get on uh, the side here, we'll get the, uh, the hovery cam. We can ride along. And that is, uh, a, yeah, I'm just going to go through the suggestions. Why not? Now this one's by Tom Mayer, and he suggested Steel Eye Span. I like it. It's got steel in the name, which also made me uh, think about Steely Dan as well. That'd be another one. If we have another steel train, which we might, then we can have one called Dan or Steely Dan. Well, you'd have to call it the actual group name, wouldn't you? <laughs> Otherwise, it's just Steel Eye and Steely. Steely just looks like I've given up on naming. All right, yeah, so we'll have to change it for band name. Otherwise, it doesn't make uh, much sense. Steel Ice Band. There we go. I like that. Brilliant suggestions, guys. Brilliant. They made me smile. And now we come over to this train with another great suggestion. For an author, writer. I mean, this one would be rather fitting. To be this train, and as such, I may keep this train... As is. Oh, he's going. He's leaving. We don't need to leave. If we leave this train as is, 
I think it would be fitting. We could call it Thomas, but we'll uh, we'll honour the author of uh, Thomas, and we'll call him Michael. There we go. We have a much needed nod to the author of Thomas. Is it Thomas and Friends or Thomas Tank Engine? I only ever knew, knew it as Thomas Tank Engine, but there's Thomas and Friends too, isn't there? Which one is it? Or is Thomas and Friends the newer one? Cut to a scenic shot. We'll take this off. There's your train. Do you like it? Is it a worthy? Uh, is it a worthy tribute? I think so. And we'll leave it as the only steam train on the map. It, it's very fitting. We may need to make it bigger. Yeah, eventually. I don't know. I don't know how much they'll grow. I must say, I love those carriages and the train. Awesome. Right. We have a whole bunch of new trains named. Promised I would do it, and we've done it. Have I forgotten any? We've got Steely, uh, Steel Ice Span. I keep saying Steely Dan. That's the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, we had Ronnie Wood, which I was going to save, oddly, for the stone trains once we convert those. And we have uh, Jeremy down here. I think he's already named, yes, for Jeremy Irons. I think we're good, guys. I think we're good. We're almost into 1931. We've got lots to do down here. I am sort of waiting, though. We've got a good bank balance. I don't think it's going to cost us to do this huge tunnel. Now, I know you'd all want to see a lovely mountain railway here, but that's not how it is in real life. And I do want to sort of nod to the, the way it sits in real life, and that would be mainly tunnels, although we'll get a little bit creative. I think coming down here, we could be up on the uh, cliff face there a little bit. That would be nice. Our station is going to go here and make use of the existing transport hub we have. Oh, we could upgrade these roads now, couldn't we? To something more meaningful, which would be one-way roads. That would be great. Are they one-way? Yes, they are. Fantastic. Didn't even spot that. There. Lovely. That's nice and easy. Now they look the part, don't they? And they're proper one-way roads. Yes, we're going to have a passenger station just here for Dama de Sala. And a, a terminus freight station up here. Because we... There we go, guys. There we go. We have some Volvos. It wouldn't be a series without Jones's Volvos, as his name now. So he once called Onion Jack. You know where they're going straight away. Yeah, these replacements are going to cost us a bit. Oh, do you know what? I just noticed something. Look at the state of those. We'd never even upgraded them to the... Uh, let's do that. We never upgraded them to the new buses, did we? These ones. I think they're better, yeah. The capacity is only one difference. Was that the reason? Well, let's have them on anyway. Why not? There you go. New buses. These are looking a bit old, aren't they? They're very... Do you know, instead of doing the whole... Uh, <laughs> the whole maintenance business should we cheat a little bit with these let's just put them in it's these ones isn't it the the slower of the two for inner city it's going to cost us a bit of cash but instantly improve i like that when you've got the funds you can do cheeky things like that and these trucks wow that's picked up a lot manage vehicles let's see if we can quickly get these to be goods trucks here they are uh, which ones are goods I'm going to say these. These would make more sense, wouldn't they? Quickly, before he gets in there. Go on, pick them all up. You can carry 30. Oh. Oh. Wait. Can we do something cheeky? Can we flip him? So he goes back. Currently he's going to uh, brig. But if we can flip him on the road, he might go and pick the rest up. Because that's a, a bit of a journey, isn't it? To only be carrying seven. Go. There we go. Go and pick up the rest. Perfect. I, I, What I did is I, I called him on his mobile phone <laughs> in 1931, obviously. It would have to be carrier pigeon, wouldn't it? I told him to come back. How would you contact him? Would there be radios? I don't know. My history is terrible. Anyway, this, uh, this is a good sign, isn't it? Lots and lots of goods to pick up for these guys perfect right we could go and upgrade some of our our other lines then oh yes and i did want to work on this since we have a lot of funds goodness me 
Have I been talking for that long? I would like to not get rid of it. No, I've been informed that this is a junction that could exist. Very dangerous. So we're going to keep the uh, the lump in there, the, the hilly bit. But we're just going to flatten it out a little bit. Make it a little, little smoother. But we will keep the essence there. So that the actual junction part, what are we on here? The, uh, these, we're also going to do those. Yeah, the actual mounting part needs to be... You go straight nice and flat so we make a solid connection we can take this back a bit so that we can come down gradually and by the end of this we're going to have a much nicer we do want that curvy though after here a much nicer grade down to meet either side but still with the hill is that smoother yep it's still there does italy have crazy roads i would imagine so i mean i think if you're in any part of the world that has huge mountains to traverse you haven't got much choice have you i think that's nice isn't it that's better yeah i like that we're gonna have to do something different with this this road here we're gonna make it longer in fact as i want it to be oh i deleted a bunch of trees never mind i would like it to be a little snakier down the hillside there right where's our junction point here let's first make our crossroads straight and then we can go from there that's terrible honestly thought that would crash then fortunately it didn't we're gonna have to go this way now and we're gonna curve down gently two clicks should do us oh maybe not that is quite aggressive isn't it that slope okay three there then three clicks down and then we'll keep going ah, that's better there we go i much prefer that guys if we connect that into there that's pleasant a little s bend not really an s bend is it just a almost a hairpin not quite right then we've got to head up the mountain now but we're going to do so in a more wiggly manner where necessary as long as we can get the height without making too much of a big cutting we are going to have to uh, go up quite aggressive what i wanted to do is so you can see a bit of it from the road below and then head up are we going to make it at this grade probably going to need it all the way up aren't we well, i don't know we might be able to make it if we uh don't want any tunnels though no we're gonna have to really start heading up here aren't we there we go make our way up gradually it's going to be a bit longer than the original road however ooh, do we want to go that way yeah i think we want a couple of wiggles in this don't we this we do want a sort of s bendy thing going on well we can go straight for a while well there we go i think if we head this way then uh, don't do that though is that going to be enough probably drop this down a touch i know we're spending needless funds on something that was already working and <laughs> it's it's a longer road now but i would say very mountain railway a uh, mountain railway very mountain road-esque I wouldn't like the job of driving down this every single day. Gives us a bit of a run up as well, doesn't it? Right, we'll put that in. Can we upgrade the road? Wouldn't be, wouldn't be bad. There we go. Lovely. And then we gradually... Oh, I don't like this bit. I don't like that bit. We're going to redo this bit. Just a little bit. It needs to come out a touch and then head round, is what I'm thinking. Like that. Back into where we came from and then around. You don't have to go quite so drastic though do you and then we'll head round oh come on come on don't make a tunnel not necessary about the halfway point and then slide in that's better uh, if we smooth this out a touch oh there we go official episode early in i'm hoping to uh, get it look like it's settled in a bit or a lot like it's been there for years and the mountainside has settled around it. There we go. So we don't have these sharp edges everywhere. There we go. Well, we can make this bigger and stronger for these sections. Now, what does that look like? It doesn't look too bad. After all that, I tell you what, I'm impressed. It looks better. Just slightly. Let's take some of that edge off. It's more of a gradual climb, isn't it? We want our trucks to be able to get up here and down and it should be a pleasant ride as well. We even smooth that out a touch. 
it's not quite so drastic there we go money well spent what a fortune i probably spent as well i wasn't keeping an eye on the funds thankfully there we go guys it's a bit bumpy there it's a bit rough <laughs> i don't know whether i could tidy that up a touch maybe there we go oh that's smoother much nicer there we go that's smoother isn't it all right so that's in and looking a little more pleasant so we can upgrade this as well or we can hit play now we'll fix the roads are you supposed to be a one-way system definitely not so that can be a two-way road uh, we'll get rid of all this old dirt road stuff oh that's a bit rough as well isn't it leave it otherwise we'll be here all day honestly we will oh i can't help myself though smooth that out <laughs> It's the sharp angles that get me. I don't mind them being up and down. It's just a few of the sharp angles. Don't look right. Don't look the part. There we go. Just take some of those out. Better. Better. Tidier. We like that a little better. See, we've still got the hills and the embankments. I haven't completely taken away the, the slopes. But that's nice, isn't it? Oh, let's quickly replace these while we're here. I did go ahead and upgrade all of our trams before we started today's episode as uh, I forgot to do them. We want these, we'll get rid of them. Well, not get rid of them, we'll upgrade them. And then we'll go over to the, there we go, lovely. And then we'll go over, let me off, let me off the bus. And then we'll go over to the, the stone lines, our first stone lines and see how they look. Let's see though first how our new junction looks we'll sit up here with the passengers a little bit higher the increments for adjusting height are a little bit aggressive to say the very least oh that's nice isn't it it's still quite dangerous but <laughs> it doesn't oh yeah you just pull out there we go that's how you drive it's not we could upgrade these while we're here actually before you go heading off and then we're we're going to need to adjust their rates and make sure we're not oversupplying because uh, there's absolutely no need to oversupply these things uh, with the new model uh, so these can be ah oh, we get to have a look at the tipper trucks as well they can all be tipper trucks beautiful there we go now they've got their uh let's get up there a bit now they've got their uh, gravel in the back there their stone they look marvellous don't they I love these big chunky tyres oh and there goes another one right but you can't be hanging around here because they could be costing us money we don't have ok look 32 million it might be these that are not supplying enough so we get to tweak some of our ignore that we get to tweak some of the lines as well and get them balanced perfectly right let's deliver some what are we delivering cargo types it's construction materials i believe that will be correct get those replaced there we go we're definitely gonna have to get rid of some of these just quickly just do it via there get rid of that one as well save a bit of cash right let's do a line comparison these two need to match as i believe it's one for one yep nothing's changed there in the beta we have a rate of 109 well actually you shouldn't be waiting this long at all because supposedly oh, oh no <laughs> you deleted a couple of trucks and you upgraded the line as well so we've got to let those numbers settle down a little bit 284 currently is a little bit excessive though i believe all that we can manage to pull from here is 200 at the moment the only way that's going to go up is if this upgrades yeah 200 maximum it starts off at 100 100 though so we have improved in that regard uh, hopefully these trucks will be nice and full eventually we do have a lot waiting up here you see so our previous trucks and line setup i i didn't touch did i no we needed to come back and take a look so this is very much needed today that's what this episode is going to end up being then a uh, bit of a tidy up with our lines 
as we modernise them with new vehicles. Got to keep an eye on these things. One thing we can do though is get rid of you. Do you know, when I play this, I'm without recording, which hasn't been for a while, because every time I go to play this, the only t uh, I feel like you guys would be missing out. Because <laughs> it, it, it's just one of those things now that I make videos. Like, oh, I shouldn't be playing this without recording it. Which is a good thing. I don't mind that. I do test something. There is a test version of this map that I did before recording uh, last night. Unfortunately, it looks really nice. I'm hoping to recreate that over the next few episodes. It took a while to test things out. But I think it's good for our progression. And I do like sitting here to build up some funds because... As you've seen, trains are expensive. You think you've got enough money and then you buy a train. And then all of a sudden, there's a lot of red numbers. Well, now we're at 181. Of course, it didn't account for our new snaky road. So, in fact, we can indeed probably put another truck back on here. Which I don't mind. I don't mind it taking a little bit longer. Interestingly, I don't think you can duplicate them here. No. That's... I never, never realised. You would have thought, with all these buttons here, you could have a duplicate button. But, we don't have one. So don't complain. He came out of the right depot. I don't know if the beta has fixed the depot lottery or not. Who knows how that works? It's a mystery to us all. It really is. Right, anyway. There, 208. We'll come back and check on that. It's best that it's a little over than a little under. Perfect. That should kick in production over here as well. What is the actual rate we we need in Domodossola? It is 155. Well, you, you don't have the throughput, do you? You shouldn't have deleted those. Although you should have. Because at the moment, we're not supplying enough bricks. I guess we do need to add one on here. As... Yeah, I shouldn't have deleted that one. As eventually this should kick up production a little bit. I hope, anyway. Ooh, more official episode time there. Did you see that? Strange ditch. And here. Not how you do. You'd really like it not to look like it's plonked down in a game as much as possible. Obviously that's exactly what it is, but I can't help myself but go for a little bit of realism here and there. Right, how are the lines looking now? And then we'll go and do the same or something similar. 120 is closer. This being at 207 should be keeping these guys full. I'm not entirely sure uh, what's going on there. Let's leave it and we'll go over to this one now. This is going to be way too many trucks. Oh, no, we've not tidied this up because at the beginning we couldn't afford it, could we? No, now it gets a little bit of a breath of fresh air here. Oh, yeah. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Finally, we get to smooth it out. That makes me happy. Always makes... Oh, you got rid of the hill, though. You didn't need to do that. There we go. There. We'll add some hill there. That's where we excavated the dirt from here. And moved it over there. For reasons. Okay. Should we, uh, should we do this, then? We're going to replace them all, and then we're going to cut back as needed. Um, you could sort of do the math, but what I want to do is pick trucks that are empty. I don't want to just pick willy-nilly. Right, let's get some more tipper trucks on then. There we go. Now none of them are old. We're going to get rid of a few because I feel this is going to be far too much. Do you know what else we need to do? These dirt roads are limited to 40 kilometers an hour, was it? And our trucks can now do 60. So, yeah, before we get going let's make sure they're traveling on fancy new roads oh if you zoom out it's a lot easier to do larger sections there we go beautiful doesn't really cost that much at this stage of the game i, I feel like we're getting to the point now guys where oh yeah i hadn't even done all this bit dear oh dear yeah we're getting to the stage of the game now where our money might snowball or oh, i'm hoping it will snowball and that'll be fantastic because that means we can really push forward on the expansion of our map. Start thinking about a little bit of detail in here and there. 
At the moment, we have the luxury of being able to do a little bit of smoothing, which is, as I always say, far too relaxing for its own good. I get carried away with it. I really do. I really do. It's lovely though. Right, there we go. We've got those. We need to upgrade these as well in tandem, and then we can work it out from here, can't we? And match it up accordingly. It should be a similar situation as we had in Dumadasala over there. So, let's not clone you all. Ooh, there. Spendy. That's not how you do. Now, this should be 2.1 million. Dropping the ocean right now, isn't it? Right then, let's get over to Balance Land. We've got a lot of trucks to delete. Uh, for instance, we can remove him. We need to get this dropped down to the, the 200 mark. Did I upgrade all of the road? I feel like I did a part job of it. Let's do that first in case it messes with our calculations. Now, this is a one-way system though, isn't it? So we can do the old upgrade -y thing that we've got going on as well. Uh, we'll go with this one because it matches what's so that's not going to do it is it that matches our uh, our built in ones that we've got there there we go get rid of you quickly while we're here because we're we're miles over in fact we could get rid of a couple on the way back couldn't we but don't have any goods on there we go eventually they'll sort themselves out right let's zoom in here I've deleted a couple more now we're going to get rid of this guy because as you can see, our rate is still way over 200. We don't need it any higher. It's not going to make anything produce any more than it already is. So we're going to get rid of this one as well. In fact, we could play it on that speed, couldn't we? There we go. Speed things up a bit while we do this. Then we'll get to sort out these, because... Uh, not the train. These are... Quite a way over. We only need them at about 100 and something. 120, wasn't it? There we go. Get rid of you. We've got it down to 300. Goodness me, these trucks are a real serious upgrade, aren't they? Uh, we're going to get rid of this guy. I like it at this speed. They're like speeding around the corners. This is lovely. This should increase our profits, I'm going to say, because they're carrying much more. Depends on the running costs, obviously. We'll get to see on the, uh, on the income chart, though after we've balanced it. We're down into the uh, 200s at the very least. That's good. we go. Look, we've got our ships going along there. I like this balance inside. I, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but for me personally... Oh, did I delete the wrong one? Well, you had some goods on you, but you don't now. Get this one, but at least wait until he drops off his four tons, or whatever it is. It's probably not tons, but his four units of stone call them units right there we go get rid of you and get rid of you as well there we go 275 i might go away and do this for the other line over there uh, after i finish recording otherwise that's going to get a little bit uh tedious isn't it right could we could we do this a little quicker you absolutely know for sure that if uh, i wasn't recording videos for YouTube. This would not be how I do it. I'd have it on normal pace and I'd sit there with a cup of tea and some biscuits and I'll just slowly get this all leveled up. Probably pause the date as well. There we go. Get rid of you. Are you empty? Yes. Wow, that's a lot of trucks we've got rid of on this line. Our money's looking healthy as well. Uh, we want the one after this truck, I think. Yeah, this one. And then I would say... We're getting close now. you got to remember, because of each of these trucks being a lot quicker, they uh, contribute more per truck to the overall rate. Getting rid of one of these. Got rid of 16 on the yearly rate. And we'll wait for the next truck to come around. There we go. That's perfect. Now, we want these full as often as possible, because that will mean we're getting the most profit from them. Uh, this one as well. Oh, I missed it. It's a game all in itself, this, trying to click them. There we go, get rid of you. We're down to 219. I like it. One more truck then. And then we're good for this line. And I'll do the other one before, before the next episode. There we go. 205. That'll do us. These, 
These need adjusting as well. We'll get rid of him before he comes and picks up because we want them as full as possible. We want that down to about 110. It may take a while. Well, let's stick this on normal and I'll head back down the road and, and get rid of a few until we're close to 110. Okay, get rid of you as well. We just want the uh, empties coming back to get rid of. I mean, they're a bit clustered together anyways. Not the end of the world. Down to 173 already, so that's pleasant. Well, 153? I don't mind these going with oddments. I prefer that the rate to be a little over because of the distance. Yeah, we'll leave that as is. I'll do this line before the next episode. I'll do exactly the same thing. We can, however, upgrade the road at the very least. We? Got some work done today. A little bit of tidying up. What we might do... Oh, not your one-way roads. That's really confuzzled them, hasn't it? Dear, oh dear. That's not what you wanted to do. Uh, this is two-way. We'll get that up like that. That doesn't need to be like that, though. Just, there we go. A little access road. I tell you what, we'll even get the old smoothing tool out for you. Beautiful. These are going to eventually be uh, train lines. However, as you've seen, uh, they're sort of working okay. Well, not this one. But from what they... Well, this is a good comparison, isn't it? From what they were with all these trucks running on and to what they are now, if you remember the, the marching ants we had coming down here, look at the difference those Volvos made. Now, there's more trucks that are coming, the vanilla ones, very similar in capacity and speed. Um, so they're, they're definitely not broken. The game balances the vehicles on there, should you wish them to, and I believe that's what Jones does. They're not game breaking in any way. It's not like they hold six billion and cost uh, one franc to run. No, the uh, costs are relative to the vanilla vehicles. No. Oh no, not that one, this one. Might as well upgrade that as well, why not? Why not? Uh, sure, give these guys a better road as well. There, lovely. This is one way, isn't it? So we can do the same here. Have our lovely little one way road going the wrong way. Did you go that way? Oh no, you're going in the wrong way. I never even noticed this, guys, that they did the turnaround. They don't technically need to, do they? No, it's on the wrong side. That's what it is. That needs to be an exit. Could that be one way like that? I think that would be better, right? <laughs> He's getting very confused. Yeah, that would be better, wouldn't it? There we go. There we go. They just drive around now. I thought that was a traffic cone. It looks like some sort of smart device. I won't say the A word in case anybody has one turned on. Well, we'll leave it like that. I kind of want that one way now. Do you know what? Do it while we're here. Don't delete the, the whole thing, though. Do not delete the whole thing. Let's configure this. We'll get rid of these roads and put them as one way. And then they'll match a little nicer, won't they? Might need to delete back our, our roads here, though, first. That's what you were supposed to delete. Otherwise, they do a weird connection thing when they, uh, when they connect back. We'll sort out the direction in a second. There we go. Get it all facing the right way. Oh, you've made it worse. Thanks, game. It'll be fine. It just slows down too much if you don't do it ni nice and neat. So what we're going to have to do, I guess, is just go down here. Can we stay straight? I don't know why it was seriously contemplating doing that. Almost a ramp sort of level of jumpiness. I don't know what any of those words were. Anyway, get back in here, tidy this up a touch. It's a little too grassy, that, isn't it? No, leave it alone, Grant, leave it alone. Goodness me, I've been faffing around for 50 minutes. That's how much it, I've recorded so far. Now, that's not one it's going to end up as. Yo, you know, how long have we put this off? Press play again, because then we can make some more cash. Yeah, the, I was always supposed to tidy this up because it looked a little bit bizarre. Uh, how it was and it wasn't supposed to look like that we just couldn't really afford it when, with our big build we're going to do some more changes in fact we're going to do plenty more changes here and tidy it up and decorate it a little bit get it looking like a big old industrial yard 
We've got the other loop to do as well at some point. We could use this one and bring this out straight a bit quicker. There we go. You just come out there like that. And then we can smooth it in. Much smoother. Much nicer. That pleases me. Which isn't difficult really, is it? Let's face it. <laughs> Easily pleased. Oh dear. There we go. Oh, I'm getting carried away. Guys, someone stop me. Nope. You just... Just keep going. There we go. Just, yeah. And at this rate, we're going to end up halfway up the mountain. There's going to be no mountain because I've smoothed it out. An entire mountain. Yeah, get rid of that. I'm not sure why there's a hill there. I want to do something nice with railings and things there. I've lost some of my mods currently. Um, because, as you know, I'm running the beta. And if you don't know, you do now. But, uh, yes. And uh, the modder in question isn't going to rightly so isn't going to keep adjusting it as the beta changes daily and then you, you're basically undoing the changes you didn't need to make in the first place i know that all too well i have made that mistake before by making changes to a mod because i was using the beta only for those changes to be undone and it no longer work once it was released so yeah he's wise he's wise not to make any changes until until it's a release branch don't know if the devs are going to change it. What am I doing? Goodness me. I think I might have edited some of that smoothing out because I went to town on that. Isn't that nicer? It's sort of looking the business now, isn't it? In fact, wouldn't all of this look much nicer as something, say, well, whatever gravelly bit that is. Not with that giant brush, though. Can we uh, calm that down? Is that the one? That's the one. We'll leave a bit of uh, ballast in there. But we'll take it right up to this road. There we go. Get rid of the path pathing. Just go over them. Holding shift if you're not sure how to do that. I got rid of the ballast, but we can undo that. Now, if you don't hold shift, it does that, you see, and leaves the... Which is okay. But you can do your own. Yeah, I think I'll just keep holding shift. It's easier. And then we can just head back and delete after that. Then you can get the, the delete brush, which is lovely. And it resets it to its default. Go in and tidy it up. Oh, I kind of like the bit of grass where it transforms into the into the uh, station there. Yeah, that's kind of nice. I mean, we could rotate it, but it does a bizarre thing when you rotate the brush. I mean, it shouldn't really be pixelated. I mean, I get it. When you rotate it, it does that. Could it? Could it not just pretend that that's not how it looks when you're actually masking it? Yeah, I kind of like the bit of grasses yeah we'll leave that there we'll leave that there should we put a fence in we haven't put a fence in forever what would be a good fence out here that's not a fence like a wire fence of some sort would be nice to go down here possibly starting from there we could have like a closed off section into the railway we'll go with a line because we've got a nice straight bit of track here and then this will uh separate that section wouldn't it I like that. We can go up there. And then we can... Oh, no, not curve yet. We're going to need to go straight a bit and then curve. And then curve round. There we go. Beautiful. It just adds a little bit to it, doesn't it? You never know when we have cab rides next time. That there. And then curve round with the road. Doesn't matter if it's not perfectly uniform. And we'll stop there. Right. Finish that. Oh, we, we've got a uh, missing pole here. There is a way around it, though. If you leave it on finish, you can just put a pole in. Uh, if I can get it in right. Is that close enough? But, you know, it's almost perfect, isn't it? There we go. Doesn't that just add a little bit to it? I don't have all my little assets currently, as I mentioned. So we can't do anything there. But it's starting to change how it looks. I don't tend to do this this early on usually because i maybe up uh, for instance upgrade the station later on change how many platforms they have and then you've got to undo all your your fancies which is why nothing's being done over in brig how is brig doing goodness me we've got a we've got a slight slight delivery increase haven't we what sort of line rate are we managing here anyway uh brig goods delivery well we need to we haven't upgraded them. 
No, that's the delivery. We did upgrade these. What line rate? It's only 87. So I say what we can do is get the right line up. Manage these vehicles. We'll head over here, see if it picks the uh, wreck depot. And we'll have to call it there, I think, guys. Duplicate. There we go. We won the uh, depot lottery. That's beautiful. That's increased the uh, throughput of goods. We're somehow up to 63.5 million. That's a shame, isn't it? We're going to do that then, aren't we, when we come back next episode on Sunday. We are going to build this massive tunnel, and it is going to be a tunnel. I know there are some of you against tunnels. I don't know what they did to you. It is a bit cheaty and easy. I get it. But uh, the actual train track here does go in a tunnel through the, through the border to Italy. But that's how we'll do it. But we'll put our own little spin on it. We have to also change the station to look something similar to how it is in real life, which is a little bit staggered. Uh, they kind of stagger all the way down. I can't remember whether it's this way or going the opposite way. Either way, I'll get it right and we'll go from there. We could upgrade these, couldn't we? Why not? There's only three of them. Uh, they need to be... What are we delivering here? Machines? I think it's machines. We could have that one. I'm going to go with a little flatbed though for this one uh, because we're allowed and then you can see the machines on the back of the truck I like that, I like that and it adds a bit of variety and we'll stick with uh, we'll stick with the uh, normal goods goods truck what has what he called it? it's just a standard one isn't it with the tarpaulin on the back and we'll replace those guys we're in I should see a few more goods start appearing on the uh, platform as well. We're going to need to get that up to... I have to do a little bit of math here. Or do we? Can we go here? Will it tell us what the demand currently is? Oh, there we go. We're already up to level... Goodness me, seriously? We're already up to level 2, pushing into level 3. This will be the key. How much of that we transport? Dear, oh dear. But we do have... A convoy of new trucks on the way so that's not too bad consumers we need whatever those two numbers are added together that's about 180 plus about 50 shall we say so uh, math is wonderful when you uh, don't blank staring at it I like the transported the six the 63 percent 46 percent but what we actually need do the math man do the math 230 Yes, 230. Well, rounded up, that is. So 230 line rate is what we're looking for. And we're a little way off. Although it will be trains soon. I still say we uh, just go ahead and add another three on there. There we go. I think they came out the correct lottery depot. I don't know why I keep calling. Yes, I do. Know. I want to tidy this river up as well at some point. It's easy to do. We'll quickly... I'd take a look. No, look at the time, man. Do it when we come back. We've got lots to do over there. Um, short little ride then before we head out. It's not going to be a long one, this one. As I've uh, slightly overrun by about a million hours. Uh, unfortunately, nothing's coming into our into our station here. Oh, well. You know what? We've not been on the passenger train for a while. Get on board that. There we go. We'll sit here. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully I can edit all that down in 45 minutes. I don't know. If not, it'll be a bit longer, wouldn't it? Anyway, well, short little journey down to... Uh, oh, where does this go? Speeds, I think. That's where it goes. And when we come back, what are we doing? Digging a big hole all the way through to Italy. We have our new trains and names, thanks to you guys out there. And, uh, yeah, I'm impressed with what we got tidied up. It's nice to have the trucks unlocked. And, yeah. This one's a short journey, isn't it? I like it, though. It's starting to look the part, isn't it? Very busy. Oh, you know, I've got Alt-Tab, don't you? Well, that wasn't seamless editing, because I forgot when you Alt-Tabbed it moved all your camera around. That bridge needs fixing yet again. I'll probably wait until we double-track it, actually, because uh, that one needs double-tracking. Then we'll sort it all out, and it'll be uh, a solid fixture. Anyway, short little journey into and out of Speed Station. Thanks for watching again. And until next time, take care.